Hi there, my name is Kyria, and today I'm going to teach you how to paint a bird of paradise leaf using my fine line detail brush technique. I'll be using an Arteza flat brush, several round brushes, and a detail brush, as well as some lovely greens from the Arteza Sea Tones and Earth Tones gouache sets. Before we get to the fine lines though, we'll want our leaf to have a nice color gradient as a foundation to really make the detail shine. I'm just adding a bit of water to give the paint a melted ice cream texture, so it will go on smoothly but not be transparent. I'll start with a lighter green at the top, using a flat brush to fill in the top half of the leaf. Then I'll begin adding the darker green. Where they meet in the middle, you want to just swipe your brush back and forth to mix them on the paper. Make sure to rinse your brush when you're switching between colors to make sure that the color goes on cleanly. You can see here that I'm going to need to add a little bit more light green to the top of the leaf as the dark green blend has gone a little bit too high in the leaf than I'd like. Thankfully this is easy to fix. As long as the gouache is still wet, I can just continue to blend as long as I'd like. And even if it does dry, I can just add a new layer of the light green over top and bring it down to mix with the darker green. I'll just keep working now with the darker green to finish up the bottom of the leaf and then we'll move on to the stem. I'm switching from the Arteza flat brush and large round brush to a smaller round brush, and I'll start with a light green at the top of the stem to create a nice contrast with the bottom of the leaf. As I work my way down, I'll use darker blends of green to create another gradient. If I need to adjust the gradient, I can just keep applying paint and mixing it on the paper until I'm satisfied. I'm happy with how the overall gradient looks, so now I'm going to move on to the line details. It's important that the gradient paint is fully dry before adding detailed lines or your brush strokes will begin to reactivate the paint and blend with it. I'm just mixing some white gouache with my lightest green tone to create a really brilliant green for adding my line work. The easiest way to do that is just to use an Arteza palette knife, pick up some of the white, and then start blending it in with the other tone. I really like my lines to pop against the background. This creates kind of a comic or graphic look. And the brighter the lines, the more they'll pop. For smooth line work, it's really important that the paint is the right texture. By this point, it's been sitting on my palette for a while, so I should add some water to get the melted ice cream consistency. I'm going to use an Arteza detail brush now to begin adding lines. If your brush runs out of paint before your line is finished, you may need to add a little more water to your paint or just load your brush a little more heavily. I've added a little more paint to my brush to finish this stroke. It doesn't matter if there's a little bump in the line, as I'll be adding more veins to the leaf and they'll most likely cover it up. For the horizontal veins, load your brush again and paint nice, clean strokes starting at the center vein and going out to the edge of the leaf. If the lines go over the edge a little bit, that's okay, because you'll be outlining the edge with a slightly thicker line and they'll get covered up. I'll just keep going, creating a nice pattern of veins up the side of the leaf. Sometimes leaving a little space between groupings of veins can add some nice variety. Now that the veins are finished, I'll just continue by outlining the leaf. If you want, you can use a different shade of green for a more dynamic finish. I'm choosing to continue with the same tone. If you want a slightly thicker line, you can just press down a little bit on the brush and it will flatten out to create a fatter line. I'll continue the outline along the stem and then just finish off that little bit at the bottom of the leaf. So that's my process for creating line work on a bird of paradise leaf. You can really see how the bright outlines stand out against the darker gradient of the leaf interior and add a playful pop. I hope you enjoyed watching and learning. That's a wrap.